Shooting in manual mode means that you're in control of everything. But if your purpose really is to freeze the action of, say, a flower that's blowing in the wind, why not use shutter priority? Hi, this is Bill Booz, and this is episode 16 of Learning Photography. This is a follow-up to episode 15, where we took a look at aperture priority as our main control. Now we're switching to the S on our camera, or TV on Canon cameras for time value, uh, which means that when we're shooting in shutter priority, we're choosing the shutter speed we want, and we're letting the camera choose the aperture. Uh, and unless you have your camera set to auto ISO, which I don't normally recommend, it also means that you, are con you need to set your um, ISO. So, as you can see, I'm outside for this, so I'd like you to go outside for this exercise. Uh, in a reasonably bright area, I'm, I'm in a, a very bright area right now, and we've got some beautiful peonies, or as they say in Central Virginia, peonies, uh, blossoming. And um, <clears throat> we're going to take some pictures of these, and hopefully some wind will kick up so that we can try to stop them from blowing. Um, so you're outside, set your ISO to uh, the lowest you can use. Uh, mine's 200, so go to 200 or 100, depending on your camera. And uh, set your camera to S or TV, and set your shutter speed. Now what we're gonna try to do is freeze this flower as it blows in the wind. Now if you don't have a flower, uh, gets, maybe you have a friend that can wave uh, and wave some, make some wind and make the flower move. Uh, that's not doing it, but perhaps you can do it with yours. Or a friend jumping, that's another good exercise. Something jumping off of uh, a, uh, a ledge or something. Oh, there's some good wind. And, um, and let's try some pictures. So I've got my camera on S. Uh, I'm using an Olympus uh, OMD5 uh, Mark II. And I've set my uh, shutter speed to 1 one twenty-fifth of a second, so 1 over 125. My ISO is set to 200. And as I take a, a uh, reading on the, ca on the flower, so I'm going to try, uh, so I got it in focus, and it's, telling, it's giving me an aperture of f8. That's good. It's going to give me some depth of field. Maybe in this case, I might want the other flowers to be out of focus, but this is what is okay. We had some wind, so let me let me shoot that. Okay, you can see how the flower is moving. Uh, oh, it's moving a lot now. Um, so let's take another one. And there we go. So let's take a look at that picture. It actually did at one one twenty fifth of a second freeze the flower. Uh, so that's pretty good. Now, what if I want to show the blur? Well, then I'm gonna go the other direction. I'm going to use a slower shutter speed. So 1 1 25th of a second was a fast shutter speed, which means the shutter's only open a very limited amount of time to allow light to come through. Um, so I'm gonna go now to, uh, I purposely wanna blur. And that's what you do with shutter priority. That's what you do with, when you're, when you're prioritizing the shutter speed in your, in your pictures, you're choosing whether you wanna freeze something such as the flower when it's being blown in the wind, or you want to blur something to show, to give the, the, the show of motion because it'll be a little bit out of focus because of the, of the, the uh, blur. So, so here's one thirtieth of a second. I'm gonna to go to one fifteenth of a second. And really that's kind of uh, uh, challenging when you're hand holding a camera to go to one fifteenth, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So I'm dialing it down to 1 15th of a second. That's a full stop lower than 1 30th of a second. So now any little bit of movement should show up as a blur. It's giving me an F13 as an aperture. And there we got some blur. Okay, so take a look at that picture and let's see how that looks. The priority modes really are useful when that's specifically what you want to do. You want to freeze something or you want to uh, let it blur a little bit. Um, and then you're only worrying about the shutter speed. You're not worrying about the other two things unless you end up with a lot of light or not enough light. So um, 
that's uh, that's how I use shutter priority. Okay, uh, so that's shutter priority. And uh, but what are the advantages and disadvantages? Just as we uh, went over with aperture priority, to either freeze the motion or blur the you know blur the motion to give the idea of, of motion in your in the resulting image. Then shutter speed is the the way to go. Um, if when you are shooting your pictures, as I did for years when we were traveling in aperture priority mode, and you find that many of your images have a little bit of a blur to them, or they're, they're, they're just not sharp enough, then using shutter priority and using a higher uh, shutter speed, which is what, as I said before, is what I do. I, uh, when, when I travel, if I'm, gonna, if I'm just kind of running around and want to take pictures, I'll very often put it in shutter priority, auto ISO, and that way, I'm, and set it at 1 over 1 25th of a second. And that way, I'm pretty certain, this says we got the flower to freeze, that I'll be able to freeze the action. But what are the disadvantages? Well, the biggest disadvantage is that when you are shooting in shutter priority, and there's not a whole lot of light, the camera will tend to go down to a, to a very wide open aperture, which is going to give you a very shallow depth of field. So if you're trying to take pictures of a group of people, even two or three, who are not in the same focal plane, um, and the aperture goes to a really wide open aperture so that it can achieve a good, uh, a well exposed image, then you're in trouble. You're going to have, you know, the guy in the back row is going to be out of focus or whatever. And usually your camera will uh, flash the, the aperture number if it's not able to get a bigger aperture. Now, that means that, that it can't get any more light and your shutter speed is just too fast given the, the, uh, the lens you're using and using and your camera. Uh, so one of the reasons that I don't like to use shutter priority or aperture priority rather is that it causes uh, my camera often to go to a very slow shutter speed. Whereas aperture priority uh, compensates for that. Um, but you have this other problem of not uh, oftentimes having enough light to get a good picture. Thank you very much for checking in on this episode of Learning Photography, and I hope you will uh, watch our next episode on exposure compensation. And please subscribe to the channel, and if you found this useful, give it a like, and I look forward to having you visit other episodes of Learning Photography. Good day.